Well, the idea came that a lot of biopsies are not good enough. The surgeons often ask how deep is the lesion, how deep does it grow, and you can't often answer that question because the biopsies are not deep enough. And especially in sub submucosal lesions and deeper situated lesions, it's not enough. We need better instruments. When you do the endoscopic examination, you are in the stomach and you take a sample from the surface. And this may not look like much, but with the endo drill, you can go deep into the lesion and take a representative tumor sample. The principle of the endo drill is this. First, you drill into the lesion, and when you've done that, you slide the cylinder over and it traps the tumor inside. There are a lot more endoscopic examinations performed today, not just only in the stomach, but in the, in the lungs, the respiratory tract, uh, the colon, etc. And we can view a lot of lesions deep into the wall or even outside, but we don't have the instrument to take them. And there is a rise of a type of tumor that, w that grows inside the wall, deeper in the wall, in the gastrointestinal tract. And, and that's why, because these tumors arise, are more often now, we need better instruments. And uh, that has also sort of inspired us to work with this instrument. You can have the idea, you can say, this is how I want to do it, this is what I need, but to make the instrument work uh, in this scale, it's small, uh, has been, an, has been, an, um, has been <laughs> very challenging, really. But we have worked it out, and it works. We have a fully functional prototype that works in the scale. So uh, we are hopeful, and hopefully we can uh, go all the way with clinical studies, etc.